This is the second in a series of videos on long multiplication and in this one I'm going to show you how to multiply two two-digit numbers. Example number one, use long multiplication to find the answer to 67 times 42. Well, as with all long multiplications, I'm going to begin by finding an estimate to that question. 67 is roughly equal to 70, and 42 is roughly equal to 40. So if I do 70 times 40, I will get 2,800. How did I get that? Well, I'll do 7 times 4 is 28. Multiply that up by 10 and by another 10 to give me 2,800 as my estimate. Okay, with long multiplications, I need to set them out in their place value columns. So we've got tens and units involved, 67 times 42. And just to remind you that with long multiplication, everything starts on the right-hand side. We'll do 7 times 2, and then 6 times 2, and then 7 times 4, followed by 6 times 4. Okay, 7 times 2 is 14. 6 times 2 is 12. Add the one that we've been carrying, 13. On the next line, we're going to start by putting a 0. And the reason why we put a 0 there is because everything is going to be 10 times bigger. So 7 times 4 is 28. And 6 times 4 is 24. But add the 2 that I was carrying, it gives me 26. Okay, we're in nearly there now. The final step is to add these two numbers together. 134 plus 2680. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So I make the final answer 2814. And sure enough, that's very close to my estimate. So I would like to think that I've got the right answer. Let's just quickly run through what I did again. 7 times 2 is 14. 1, 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 1 that we were carrying is 13. Moving on to this 4 here. 7 times 4 is 28. 6 times 4 is 24, plus the 2 that we're carrying, 26. Important to notice that I've put that 0 there because we're multiplying 7 by 40 in reality, and we're multiplying 60 by 40 in reality. Not by 4, but by 40, because it's in the tens column. So rather than it being 268, which is what you'd get if you multiplied by 4, we're going to have 2,680, because in fact we're multiplying by 40. Okay, so the final step, just to remind you, was to add those two numbers together, and I get 2,814. It looks like I've done that all correct. Example number two. Use long multiplication to find the answer to 53 times 96. You probably know by now what I'm going to start with. Fifty-three is roughly equal to fifty. Ninety-six is roughly equal to one hundred. Fifty times one hundred equals five thousand. Okay, so my estimate to the question fifty-three times ninety-six is 5,000. Let's find out what the real answer is. Tens, units, 
53 times 96. 3 times 6 is 18. 5 times 6 is 30, plus the one that I was carrying is 31. Start the next line with a 0 because everything is going to be 10 times bigger. We're multiplying by 90, not 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 5 times 9 is 45, plus the 2 that I'm carrying, 47. Good. Let's add those two numbers together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 1 plus 7 is 8. 3 plus 7 is 10. And 4 plus 1 is 5. 5,088 is my final answer. It's very close to 5,000, so I'm guessing either I had a very good estimate or I've got the answer right. I'm hoping I've got both a good estimate and the correct answer. Let's just check what I did. 3 times 6 is 18. 5 times 6 is 30. And 30 plus the 1 that I was carrying, that's 31. Start by writing a 0 on the next line because everything is going to be two times bigger, uh, 10 times bigger. 3 times 9 is 27. 27. 5 times 9 is 45, plus the 2 that I'm carrying is 47. Then I need to add these two numbers together. 8 and 0 is 8. 1 and 7 is 8. 3 plus 7 is 10. And then the 1 plus the 4 is 5. Then my answer is 5,088. And that is the end of this video. Click on the next video to find out how to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number.